Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in the previous video we have completed till this, but now what we have to do basically we have to create this particular button and on click of that we have to navigate to this contact me page. Let's do that. So for that what we are going to do. So in this home page we'll take another div here and let's give a class name. So we'll take the home. This is the parent class name and this will be for example contact me and then I'll take one button here and this will be hire me that's it so now let's save this and let's see what we are getting okay so you can see that we are getting here so i think what we can give here so for this particular button class i think in the wrapper we can give display as flex and justify content will be centered that's it so to do that uh, we have to copy this part and then in the style so I think after here yeah so we can take this and this will be display flex and then justify content will be centered that's it so now let's save this and let's check so now if I just refresh this you can see that now this is fine this is coming here so now we have to work on the button styles so for that because there is only one button element so we can just take directly this button and this will be the first one we'll take as cursor will be pointer Padding will take as 10 px and let's take it as 65 px. Font size will be 2 rem. Background will take as transparent because if I just go to the final version, you will see that. So let's go to the home page. So you'll see that we don't have any uh, background. So on hover, basically, we have to show that background. So that we will be doing, and then we have to take color. So color will take it as the yellow theme main color will take some border as 1.5 px solid and then this is the color that we will be using border radius will take it as 4 px is there anything i think font weight we can take it as 500 and i think that's it so now let's save this and let's check what we are getting all right so now this is fine so if i just go here i think there is some extra padding so let's do one thing let's give this padding as 70 px and let's check once all right now this is fine and i think there is some margin also in between so what we can give some here i think we can give some margin top so let's give this one as 15 px i think that will be better all right so now this is fine so now we have to work on the hover part so for hover basically how you can target in scss you just have to take this and and then you will take see you will get all the selectors and everything pseudo classes so we will just take it as hover and this will be background so background will take the main color and the color will be now changed to if i am not wrong that will be i think black okay so now this is black you can see that so we will take it as fix time zero and i think this is fine now all right so now this is fine so now on click of that we have to go to the contact me page now if you remember we are using the latest version of react router dom so if i just go to the package.js and you'll see that we have 6.3.0 now till now actually we most of us actually worked on the react router dom version 5 but there are some certain functionality changes that react router dom team introduced so now to navigate from one page to another page what you have to do so first we'll take the one click method and let's take this one as handle navigate to contact me page and i'll just copy this and uh, let's clear this method so there are certain steps you have to follow so the first thing is that you have to import something from react router dom and the method that you have to import and that is use navigate all right previously we usually use use history if you remember so this will be now use navigate and now we'll take another variable here so this will be navigate and this will be use navigate so now if i just log this and uh, let's see what we are getting so let's check so let's go to the console and you'll see that we are getting some method so this is a navigate method two and there are some certain options that you can give and you'll get all the options here in the prototype so what you have to do basically because this is the variable we are assigning so you just have to take this variable and then basically this will work as a method so you'll see that it is giving you suggestion that there can be a two of 
two property that you have to give and there is some additional options property so now here we will give as sorry this will be as contact and now if i just save this this is very simple and let's see what we are getting all right so now if i just click here i'll see that now we are getting to the contact page right and let's check once yes this is working so now basically what we have to do if you just go to the final words and you'll see that there is some animation is happening on this particular button so this is coming from the below so i think for that if i'm not wrong we have already uh yeah imported this particular package react simple animate so this we will be using so let's see how basically we can do that so the first thing what you have to do basically you have to import some property from this package so this will be import something from react simple animate and the component name is basically animate you can see that now what you have to do basically so for example we want to animate this particular wrapper so you have to wrap this component inside this uh, basically this animate component or function whatever you can say so now this will be the part that we want to animate so we will paste it here so now what will happen whatever property will be given here that will be accessible to this particular gsx so now uh, there are certain property you can give the first one is that play so this will be a property that is animated dot play that is boolean so this means that you want to do animation or not so this will be true obviously if you give false it will not animate next is duration we can give and we'll give this one as 1.5 next we can give delay means after how many time you want to start that animation will give one second and then it gives a stack property so this is the main style property you can see that so this will be object all right so now here basically we will be giving the property so here i'll take transform so these all are simple css styles that you can use and this will be translate what we want to do we want to do y axis because you'll see that this is coming from the bottom and we'll give this one as for example 550 px so it will start from translate y means it will start from y axis 550 px then it will end so there is another property you have to give so this will be end and it will go to obviously the zero px all right this is very simple and this will be translate x so if i now save this all right now let's see what we are getting so if i just go back and let me refresh this page you see that now we are not able to see the button and now this is coming here all right let me check once yes this is working now so i think that's all for this particular video so in the next video we have to start working on this about me page but before that what we have to do if i just go to any other pages you'll see that we have this particular header content that is common for rest of the pages so first we will be start working on this part and then after that we will start working on this summary and this particular circle so that's all for this particular video if you like this video give a like comment down and please subscribe to my channel thank you